even if you don't know the process of hydrometallurgy, you probably witness it take place. Hydrometallurgy is just the process of metal extraction using aqueous solutions. If you'd ever brewed a cup of tea or made an instant coffee, you witnessed hydrometallurgy in action. Today, coffee is the most traded food or drink commodity in the world. Ever wondered how instant coffee is made and how it is analogous to hydrometallurgy? Well, we'll explain it just for you. Now, there are six general steps in hydrometallurgy, which is kind of similar to instant coffee manufacturing. Shown in this diagram, we can relate the steps in coffee manufacturing in the process of hydrometallurgy. First, the coffee beans are roasted to awaken the souls of the coffee and reveal its true color, flavor, and aroma. Once roasted, the coffee is ground and placed in large containers before extraction. Then, fresh water is used to liberate the coffee-soluble components. The next step is to remove the water while preserving the bean's flavor and aroma. The water was then crystallized to separate it from the coffee. This magical process is called freeze concentration. The coffee undergoes a foaming process to increase the extract's porosity. Once foamed, the extract is placed in a cold room in which the product is frozen. After being granulated and classified, the frozen extract is heated in a chamber which allows the removal of all remaining ice. The result is a freeze-dried coffee with all the properties that make the coffee tasty. Coming up next is a correlation of the instant coffee manufacturing and hydrometallurgical process. Before continuing this video, Show your interest by smashing that like button. Are you done? Then let's get it going. Here's what actually happens in hydrometallurgy. The roasting of coffee beans and roasting in hydrometallurgy is similar. They both share the same goal of converting the material into suitable form. Also, grinding of coffee is the same as combination in hydrometallurgy where a material is reduced into desired size. The transfer of coffee-soluble components to fresh water is analogous to leaching. Leaching is the dissolution of the valuable metals into the aqueous solution. Then, water removal from the coffee extract and separation in hydrometallurgy is identical with its aim to separate the unwanted material from the valuable one. However, in coffee manufacturing, the water is the unwanted material, while in hydrometallurgy, the leaching solution is the valuable one. Moreover, freeze concentration and foaming is the same with concentration and purification stages in hydrometallurgy, where a richer and lesser volume of valuable material were attained. Lastly, the removal of the remaining ice in the frozen extract is identical to metal winning in hydrometallurgy, where the valuable material is recovered from the unwanted medium. Remember that even if the valuable material for the two processes have different phases, the end product will always be solid. Now, after comparing the instant coffee manufacturing to hydrometallurgy, did you see the correlation of the two? If so, Please support us further by hitting the subscribe button below and wait for our upcoming videos.